And we've had a couple entries by Descender, number one. And speaking of the devil, there he is, meteor smashing into the track. And this is going to be a very high contested race, I can tell already. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time tonight, it's season two's multi-lane madness. Jose the Great has the record a minute and 34 seconds, but they're not here to defend their title, so anything can happen. Looks like we have Descender, Tim Reaper, and Dracula Musical number 30, 25, or 24. Dracula Musical up another place, and Descender number one. But, oh, no, there it is. It's the Tim Reaper, Dracula Musical. And it looks like the number one and number 30 are going to have a little bit of acrobatics going on in this piston plinko board. And that very unsportsmanlike play by Descender bouncing them back up to the top so they get stuck on the piston even more, but now both of those players are way in the back. Dracula Musical and Tap Fluffy falling out of the map, so it looks like number 24 is already out, and now we have all the old players taking it slow and steady up in here, and this is already a ridiculous race. Glorious Sessions, Sesame going through on the left-hand side. Looks like Furball's on the right-hand side. Tim Reaper coming through on the left-hand side as well, with Echnolito on the top track. Bunch of Bell on the right-hand top track as they go down into this lane, and it looks like Descender also on the top-hand right-hand track. Fruja, Ponte, and Ghostduck taking the time, and what happened to Tim Reaper? There he is on the left-hand track. Who's going to get through first? It looks like Furball's and Sesame to the top of the cheese but not able to get through the exit. Glorious Mustache already threw into the double helix. Here comes Tim Reaper with a lot of speed, but Furballs gets ahead of him and is going to take his momentum away. Shes to be in second. Furballs in third. Tim Reaper in fourth. Hector Leo on the left-hand side and Bunch of the Bill on the right-hand side trying to catch up, but the Glorious Mustache already up to the dishwasher with a pretty good line. Will they find the exit in hold first place? No, they won't. They're going to go back. And here come the other players from behind. Hector Leo falling out of the map. Bunch of the Bill coming down from the top track trying to skip over. Perfect skip over the top of the dishwasher. They're going to come up into the burst trip of helix, and I think Bunch of Bill has taken the victory here tonight. Descender, I believe the last... No, Tim Reaper's still surviving. Tim Reaper does get out ahead of Descender. So Tim Reaper could be finishing in second place with Shenzhen V in third. But Bunch of the Bill is running away with it here. A whole helix ahead of the other players. Maybe even a helix and a half in first place. Descender trying to get out of that dishwater. The Glory Specialist Furball is trying to get through as well. But Bunter de Bill already out of the merch triple helix on the left hand side with a perfect dismount on that top track is going to finish out the race in first place, leaving all the other players in the dust. Very well done, Bunter Bill. Tim Reaper, number 30, showing Descender what they're made of after that very unsportsmanlike play at the beginning. And Tim Reaper on the right hand side finishing in second, rubbing it in Descender's face. Shensi V in third place on the left hand side, Descender in fourth place, trying to save faith. But Fruscia Ponte, one of the terrible twos, is going to come out ahead and give him a very unsportsmanlike bounce right at the front. And it looks like they got their comeuppance. And Fruscia Ponte on left hand side in fourth place. Descender going to have to settle for fifth with a bloody nose. Furwall on the right hand side in sixth place. Glorious Switches on the right hand side in seventh place. And Ghost Duck bringing up the rear in eighth place with a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock trying to finish out the race in eighth place and it looks like they're going to be able to go through on the right hand side and that is going to be the race ladies and gentlemen what a heck of a race well done everyone except for those who died <laughs> <laughs> Fruit Spot holding first place for now, but Chesapeake putting the pressure, trying to catch back up, and here comes Jacqueline Musical Duff Fluffy trying to catch up to him as well. All the players are and bunched up on that track there as they come up to the final pass, and the moguls are going to decide everything as they get through around on the right-hand side. I don't need to say Vexen live every time. Well, I'm probably going to anyway, but who knows? <laughs> Fruit Spot in first place as they hit the moguls. Jacqueline Musical saves Chesapeake there, Duff Fluffy in fourth, Rogue, Wall, Rogue Force, Fur Walls. I almost said Rogue Walls and Fur Force. <laughs> oh my god. Shenzhen holding first place for now, but having a little bit of trouble on the, on the moguls there. And Furwalls is going to overtake and now be in first place as they come around the next part of this last pass. Furwalls in first, Shenzhen second, Fruit Spot in third. All the other players jumbled up in that, in that backpack for fourth place. And it looks like Furwalls is holding first place for now as they come across the final moguls. Will they be able to get across without losing too much speed? No, they get bounced out to the left-hand side, but they did find the exit. Shenzhen wobbling out to the right-hand side, trying to overtake, but it's not going to happen. Furwalls first hit the boosters into the level of speed watch. It looks like the timing's great, but they just barely hit the blade, and that's going to cost them. Fruit Chabonte trying to get through as well, but they get hit by the blade as well. Dracula Musical, all the other players bunching up now. Who's going to be the first one out? It looks like it could be Fruit Chabonte, but there goes Rogue Force with the Virgin Run, trying to take on the Virgin Curse, and look at Rogue Force making a break for it here at the end. Can they avoid the Force teams? Will they be able to get around? No, they smash right into it, and they have to watch out for those pins. Oh my goodness, Fruit Chabonte blasted out and gets eliminated, and it looks like Furwalls also getting smashed up there. Vexen Live trying to get around. Chesapeake, 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 all players jumbled up in these Force teams. Chesapeake makes a break on the right hand side, and Chesapeake finishes it out in first place. Tough of you, behind in second place. It looked like Rogue Force was going for it, but the Virgin Curse has struck hard. Ghost Duck in third. Glorious Flesh is in fourth. Looks like Dracula Musical blasted out into place. And you can see the power of the Virgin Curse as Rogue Force went from first to almost last. Thanks to those Force Cubes. And Rogue Force and Furwalls, or Vexen, excuse me, 
all going to get across the same top. On the left-hand side, he's going to come out in first place. Four balls in second on the right-hand side. But who's going to have the better line across the divided merger? Looks like it could be Colin Carey with a good line. No, they get stopped up right in the middle. And now Kachaja is going to overtake into first place in the booster as they go through on the right-hand side. Four balls in second. Lawyer's actually third. Fushibadi in fourth. Shizumi in fifth. Duck in sixth. Bunter in bill in seventh. The center in eighth. Dracula Musical in ninth. Ghost Duck in tenth. Colin Carey in eleventh. And unknown man in twelfth place. I fucking nailed that. Suck it, bitches. All coming up in the last divides here. Looks like Glorious Possession all alone in the second track. Finally, unknown man joining them in the center track. Looks like on the right-hand side, we got Nakataja, Furwalls, Bunter to Bill, and Duck on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, we got Fushipande, Shenzimi, Descender, Dracula Musical, Ghost Duck, and Call Can't Right trying to get up onto that... Uh, popcorn popper on the right hand side. It looks like the players have come up in the helix in the center lane. We already have unknown man overtaking the glorious smash in those pins, hitting the elevator first, and it's all going to come down to Nakataja and unknown man. I think Nakataja is going to have the lead as they go up into this dishwasher. But now it's just here. Fushipata in the left hand track trying to get through that popcorn popper. Nakataja stopped up by the blade. Furballs as well. Butter Bill trying to get through Duck as well. It looks like Shinsuke is going to get a good bounce to center as well. And it looks like Shinsuke and Descender coming out into this cheese obligator. Shinsuke with a very good line through on the right hand side to center, getting a little tripped up on the end there. And here comes Ghost Duck from behind. Fushipate blasted out of the map. Shesimi going through on the left-hand side. Duck coming through as well. Shesimi going to go through the double booster jump. Will they stick the landing? Yes, they do. Ghost Duck sticks the landing as well. And, and I think I said Ghost Duck. Don't worry about it. All coming up in <laughs> Newton's Nightmare. Shesimi and Ghost Duck coming down into the series over here. Colin Carey blasted out by the cheese obligator as well. The other players surviving so far, but it looks like all it's going to come down to is Ghost Duck and Shesimi as they come out of the Newton's Nightmare out into the final slide. Now Kataja also eliminated by the jump, I believe. And Unknown Man is all the way in the back now with fur walls. Looks like Shinsuke and Descender trying to get through. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Shinsuke or is it going to be Furwell? Shinsuke waiting for that pin to go, but Descender could have the better line. And Descender showing him why he's number one on the racetrack, ladies and gentlemen. Descender, a perfect time across those pins, overtaking Shinsuke at the very last tenth of a second. Very well done. Shinsuke going to have to settle for second place, completely outplayed by the number one on the leaderboard. Ghost Duck hits the reset warper, going back into the top, so Ghost Duck is going to have to go through a second time. Bunter de Bell, Glorious Message, and Duck all having trouble with these pistons. Here comes Dracula Musical from behind, trying to overtake. There comes Duck as well, trying to get through, but these pistons are screwing up everyone's line. Ghost Duck finally through, but they're going to hit the reset warper again, and Ghost Duck going to have to go through a sec, a third time. Glorious Message blasted out by the pins. Oh my goodness, all the players. Dracula Musical blasted out. Duck finally across in third. Bunter de Bell hits the reset booster, but they get smashed by the pins, and they're going to be able to finish in fourth place. Furball straight across the middle is going to finish out in fifth. Unknown man. Trying to get across in sixth place. Looks like they've got it. And Ghost Duck going through for the third time. Trying to take on the endurance record here as they hit the Pistons. Will they be able to go through? There's 57 seconds left on the clock. They do have time, but it looks like they're in the center track right now. And they've got to be careful. These ramming pins just barely missing the ramming pins. And Ghost Duck is going to finish in sixth place. And Descender showing them why they're number one on the leaderboard. 40,000 races of experience put to the match. Glorious position in first place on left-hand side. Dracula Mystical in second. Four walls in third. Tough left before Shinsuke in fifth place on the right hand side. On the, le on the left hand side, excuse me. Right, right hand side is Vexed Live. Ghost Duck and Fush Body. Vexed Live trying to take on the Virgin Curse. Perfect line on the right hand side of the Vertex Orbit or the Cheese Obliterator. And they're going to come down. Looks like Dracula Music got blasted out by the Cheese Obliterator. Looks like Vexed Live trying to get through that bingo ball. It's and, and Vexed Live is already through ahead of the record time. And Vexed Live taking on the Virgin Curse with the most unprecedented and unexpected performance. Trying to get down these pisses. And Fusha Ponte trying to catch up in second place. Trying to keep her defend, uh, trying to defend her title. But I don't think she's going to be able to do it. Oh, Vexed Live. Stumbles on the ramming pin zone. Fusha Ponte overtakes on the right hand side. And Fusha Ponte is not going to go down with a fight. She's got a defender title on this course. Come down into this first place position. And Vexed Live, a very valiant effort trying to take on the Virgin Curse. Finishes in second place. Almost had first place, but the Virgin Curse claimed them right at the end. Ghost Duck finishing in third. Glorious Pestage in fourth. Tough Luffy ahead of Shesame. Going to finish out in fifth place. Not bad for a first race. Shesame in sixth. And Furwalls finishing out the race in seventh place. What a race by Vexen Live and Fusha Ponte. Descender going straight through the big ball, reclaiming first place, and Descender determined to reclaim victory here on this stream. Descender and Fushipande neck and neck, blasting up into the into the circus cannon. Both players going down into the funnel, going into the divide, and how is this all going to play it out? Dracula Musical go for the skip, and they stick the landing in the helix, and that's going to put him in first place ahead of Descender and Fushipande on the bottom track. Tim Reaper coming through on the bottom track as well. Ben Tinderbill on the left-hand side. Shenzhen V on the right-hand side. Glorious Pestage through on the right-hand side. Looks like Glorious Pestage on the left-hand side. Or, sorry, Furball's on the left-hand side. And Ectonito also on the left-hand side. But Dracula Musical with that perfect skip off of the jump is going to come down onto the cheese grater and be well ahead of the other players coming up into the water, into the water wheel. Descender in second. Fushibate in third. Trying to reclaim victory. But it looks like Dracula Musical has other plans as they go load up into the water wheel going down into the cheese disintegrator. Descender in second. Fushipande in third. Who is going to finish out this race in first place? Descent, or Dracula Musical on the left-hand side trying to skip over this obstacle. Here comes the, the center. Fushipande. Fushipande blasted up. 
I think they actually went backwards, and it looks like Dracula Bill- Oh no, Buttender Bill coming up from behind, and what is gonna happen? Frusha Ponte eliminating Buttender Bill straight through this cheese disintegrator, and overtaking both of the leaders, and Buttender Bill again with another sniping play in first place finish. Dracula the Musical in second place, looks like Descender in third, Chesty V in fourth place, and Descender still can't get their victory back. Tim Reaper in fifth place, Furballs in sixth, Glorious Buster in seventh, and Ecton to the Nito taking it on the left hand side, finishing out the race in eighth place, and what a Raced by all of our contestants, especially Bunch Under Bill, coming out of nowhere at the last second. Do this. Boop. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last race of the evening. Temple is Steve, and it's all going to come down to this. Will Descender be able to reclaim their victory and reclaim themselves as the rightful number one spot on the leaderboard? Will Dracula the Musical go for another upset? Will Tim Reaper hold number 30 on the leaderboard? Will any other player like Bunch Under Bill go for another upset? Who knows? Shadow Schroeder has the record two minutes and five seconds. Will anyone beat that record? So many questions that need answering, and the only way we're going to answer it is watching the rest of this stream. Fur walls missing it out. I'm so sorry. Anyway, all the players coming out of the center vortex. Over. It looks like Agnes Lino is going to come out with a beautiful line into this uh, double helix, and that's going to get them well ahead in first place. To center in second, once again trying to reclaim their dominance as the number one seed on the leaderboard. Buttender Bill in third, Jack the Musical Four, Sydney in fifth, Corpus in sixth, Fruit Monday in seventh, Timmy Bird in seventh, uh, eighth. Excuse me, and Rebecca on in ninth place. Excuse me, Becca on in ninth place as they come through the double helix. Sector Lido trying to get through on the right hand side of the level one speed washer but didn't quite time it correctly and they have lost a lot of speed. And here comes Descender straight through on the right hand side looking to show their dominance yet again and Descender number one on the leaderboard taking no prisoners on the last race of the night down into the collection bin. Not the best of lines but they are still well ahead of the other players. Sector Lido in second, Timmy Bird third, Glory Session in fourth, Sensei Bird fifth, Fruit Bird in sixth, Bunter to build seventh, Dragon Musical in eighth and Becca on in ninth place all the way back in that level one speed washer. Descender on left hand side trying to get through that level 2 speed watcher and they've got a beautiful line down into the and they're ahead of the record time and Descender is leaving nothing behind putting it all out on the track and trying to destroy every last contestant and the record time all at the same time what is going to happen here tonight Hector Lido in second Fushipande in no Fushipande got ahead of Hector Lido I think no yes Fushipande in second place I don't even know what's going on anymore Hector in third but all eyes on Descender as they come up into the level 3 speed watcher good bounce for it and they're already across the moguls they're ahead of the record time and Descender Sender, the number one seed. Can they stay ahead of the record time? We're going to find out in just a second. Coming down the dry knuckle slide. It looks like Fusha Pande in second, Hector in the third, Bunch of Double in fourth, Shensi V in fifth place. Will Descender be able to catch up to the record time? I don't think they have the speed anymore, but they are still way ahead in first place if they can just get the timing on this calendar into the wind bin. Descender on the left hand side. Do they have what it takes to hit that wind bin or will they be eliminated? Wind bin moves out of position. Descender's got a stall. Fruit on the left hand side. The wind bin's in position. They could go for a pinch shot. Descender trying to stall. They get a bounce off Echno Nito. They're going to be able to go through the hole. Descender goes through and Descender reclaiming victory on the last race of the evening. Showing them why they're number one. Getting that bounce off Echno the Nito and landing right into the wind bin. It looks like Frusha Pante and Chesney completely decimated. Gonna fall out. Dracula the Musical doesn't even have the courage to finish. Becca on got in at third. I don't even know how. Tim Reaper at fourth. And Ecto the Nito still stalling, but he can't hold any longer. And the Windman's not in position. Falls out of the map. And that is the race. And that is the street. Ladies and gentlemen, Descender reclaiming dominance at the last chance that they had. Showing everyone why they're number one with 41,131 races under their belt and a 2 minute and 15 second first place finish. Eight seconds ahead of the next contestant and very well done all. Holy shit. I got nothing left. <laughs> for watching. Doing this. Oh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Pumped. I had a fucking ball. Pumped. I